Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. If you don't already know the easiest way to cut into an avocado, just take your knife and cut into the end and work the blade all the way around the seed until you get back where you started. At that point, you can just twist off the top, take your blade, hit it right into the seed, cut it out. Simple as that. Skinning the avocado is just as easy. Just take a large spoon and just cut right into the sides all the way around and scoop out the filling. Cilantro is just as easy. Most people don't know this little trick, but all you have to do is roll it all up into a little ball. Of course, pull out the stems. But again, roll it all up, tight little ball, hold it with the opposite hand you're cutting with, and with your knife, very carefully slice right through it. Now here I've already got four peeled avocados. We're gonna go ahead and add the cilantro to this and start mixing up all of the ingredients to make our guacamole. Now here we've got julienne jalapeno, we've got chopped garlic, and we've got some scallions. We'll just add that to the mixture. Don't worry about making it look pretty. Moving on to dry ingredients, we have tomato bouillon. Now let me tell you about the tomato bouillon. You can get this by a brand named Nor. They make beef, chicken, or tomato, and tomato is excellent in this guacamole. So we'll just add that bouillon, and we'll move right on to the oregano. Next, we'll add the cumin, and pepper. Now we're not gonna be adding salt because there's enough salt in that tomato bouillon. If you have a potato masher, that's really good to chop up these avocados because it meshes them really good and incorporates all the ingredients. This is a real good time to add the last ingredient and that's a squeeze of this here. Once the lime is exhausted, again we're going to stir it all up. At this point, it's a good time to take a good taste of that and make sure it's to your liking. You can add some more salt and pepper. You can add some cayenne or paprika if you want some more kick. Just make sure that at this point, it's exactly the way you like it. Now you can serve it up. But just between you and me, if you do this the night before you actually want it, it will get a lot more potent and have a lot more flavor the next day when you go to eat it. And there you have it, homemade guacamole right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen.